Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Bomber 7813 HD-600 horizontal spring pivot with floor plate heavy duty, non-hold open, steel trim primed for painting. Here's what the lower body mechanism looks like. Got a little oil on it, lubricant on it. You can just barely rotate that by hand. The 7813, and I'll show you the remainder of the parts that, I, that are included with this as well, is the heavy duty version, meaning it can handle doors of a maximum width of 3 foot, but up to 150 pounds. And that's quite a heavy door, 150 pound door. Two floor plates, and that's what the 600 inside of one, pardon me, that's what the 600 part means, it's the prime coat, this is just a gray primer is what's on here. That's what the heel of the door would look like. Okay, then you're going to get a heel plate, and this heel plate is what dresses up the dimension between here, that's how that works. Hard to see it through my hands. Okay, and then your other plate, of course. You will get a top pivot assembly, and I'll show that to you. That is the frame portion. Here's the door portion with the bushing in it. Goes together like that. This mortises to the top of the door and to the top of the frame. You will get a bag of screws for attaching the body to the floor and the body to the door as well. You are going to get screws in this package additionally for mounting of the face plates. Those would be the smaller uh, flathead screws that you see. Get all those screws. You'll also get a machine, a flathead machine bolt, which looks like it might be about a 1024 thread right here. That's for holding the heel plate onto the edge of the assembly right about there, what that would look like. Then again your face plates would come and, and look like that on the assembly once it was done. Although this would be tucked underneath the heel plate of course. That's how that would look. Uh, I've machined doors for these several times. I have installed these. I have uh, seen them in action after decades of use, and they're great pieces of hardware. The 7813, again, is a non-hold It's a non-hold open, non -hold open uh, version. It's obviously double acting. Um, inch and three-eighths to inch and three-quarter door thickness is what this will work for. Um, it won't work for anything really thinner because you don't have enough room to get the hardware installed onto the door. You could technically use it with thicker stuff, but that brings me to the next point. Anything that's double acting, you won't have a stop on the frame, and you'll have to end up radius, radiusing the door edge. And the link to the template above this video shows a diagram on what the radius is to be, which is inch and a half. And basically what I've done these in the past is you have a router and a very large cove bit and you basically route each face of the door like a bull nose like you'd have on the top row, uh, row of tile in your house in the bathroom and you'd flip the door over and do it you know on the opposite side of the door as well on the opposite face so that you can achieve a radius uh, style and you have to have that so you can maintain a smaller margin now if your door is inch and three quarter, you can't have your radius any larger than inch and three quarter. Otherwise, the door will bind when it goes to when it goes to open. Okay, that won't work. Uh, you would technically radius the opposite style as well, not only the pivot style, so that you can maintain very tight margins per the uh, per the template which I'm looking at, which is what I'm looking to off at the side. Basically, the bottom preparation is very obvious, very straightforward. You notch out the bottom per the template. You just follow those instructions and this will fit right in. Um, the first time you do this, you take your time and read the template. 
and do it correctly. Um, after that, it, it, it goes by pretty quick. It's easy to do. Um, the mortising of the, uh, the machining for the top pivot is also very easy. You would just use a, like a fly bit to do that or a Forstner bit would be good, a 7 8 diameter and drill three holes and uh, per the template uh, that it's shown at. Uh, you don't want your radius to be any different really than inch and a half because the radius on the heel plate is also inch and a half. So you'll want to maintain that. I encourage you to uh, reach out to me uh, if you have any questions on this item before you buy it. If, you have, if, you, if you're concerned, uh, by all means, let me know. Uh, also, you can set the spring tension. You can see that the holes that are in the ratchet bearing here, and it'll come with a tension bar. And you can insert that and give it a turn, and you can set the tension on the spring to work in conjunction with the door width, the door height, and the speed at which you want this to close, uh, etc. A good quality item, known to last for years. Bomber, 100% American made, a fact of which they're very proud of, and I am as well to represent them. Uh, if you have any questions about the Bomber 7813 HD-600 or any other Bomber product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.